We're going to head on over to meteorologist Allison Pryor for a check of your forecast. Good morning, Allison. Good morning, Carolina. Today is definitely a day where you want to make sure kids are not staying in the cars. It's going to be another hot day with those high temperatures around 90 degrees. Now we are starting off this morning. Most across the area are in the 60s and there's a little bit of some patchy fog that has developed primarily for our eastern communities, Fannin County, Union County, Cherokee County. So heads up for that for that lower visibility. It does look like there's a little bit of a spot in Jackson County as well. For most though, really a quiet start to the day this Wednesday right in the middle of the week. And here's a check of those temperatures. So yesterday Chattanooga was hanging on to the 70s a little bit longer, but it is 69 degrees here in the city of Chattanooga. And you'll notice a lot of other locations in the mid 60s. Dayton, Athens both coming in at 66. Blue Ridge, Murphy at 63 degrees at this point in time. And temperatures, of course, are really going to be skyrocketing once again for the day today, especially once the sun comes up. So at 6 a.m. 68 degrees by 7 a.m. is back into the 70s. And from that point on, really rapid rising up. In fact, by noontime, already in the mid 80s for our temperatures and then spending the afternoon in the upper 80s to low 90s, 91 degrees at 4 p.m., 91 degrees at 5 p.m. It will be a mostly sunny day, so you're going to have a lot of blue sky and sunshine during the morning time. But like the past couple of days, some of those fair weather cumulus clouds are going to develop with the heating of the day in the afternoon, creating that kind of blue sky, sunshine and cloud mix and very light wind today from the west to the northwest at about two to five miles per hour. So really not getting relief from the breeze. So even if you're standing in the shade, you're going to feel that heat and there will be very little wind outside. Here's the big picture setup basically for the eastern uh, half of the country. We still have this big front sweeping across the country at that point in time. That's where that storm and rain activity is ongoing from Oklahoma up through Missouri into Illinois. There is going to be another low pressure system that evolves right along that front that's going to head into our area bringing us those scattered showers and storm chances for tomorrow. But first, you can enjoy today. Just drink plenty of water and be prepared for the heat and humidity outside. Here's that zoomed in close up look to our area. Pretty quiet conditions here in the Tennessee Valley on this Wednesday morning. So let's run through our future cast and overall staying quiet for the morning time hours. So again, abundant sunshine is what we're expecting for the morning. You'll notice more of the white showing up on the map, indicating those clouds developing for the afternoon. And yes, some of those little green spots, primarily if you have a pop up shower or storm for the day today, just like yesterday and the day before, it'll most likely be along the higher elevation. So our eastern mountain communities, some of those ridge lines of the Cumberland Plateau may even see that on the eastern side of the Sequatchie Valley as well along those ridge lines too. Overall, during the overnight hours, mostly clear skies, pretty quiet weather once the sun sets tonight. For your day tomorrow, we will have a few more clouds across the area, so we'll call it partly sunny for your Thursday. And then here come those scattered showers and storms that we're expecting for Thursday, really starting up at midday about noontime through the afternoon and into the evening. Each one is basically hit or miss. It's not going to be a complete washout for your Thursday, but we could use some additional rainfall. We've now had some dry days, so your plants, your garden, your lawn probably would like some of this rain. The biggest problem for tomorrow is we will have the potential for a couple maybe of strong to marginally severe storms to develop, so gusty wind will be the primary threat for that. Even tomorrow night, 11 p.m. midnight, still seeing a little bit of activity, and then once that front fully passes our area, we'll be on the back side of it, meaning cooler air and less humid air. So really comfortable conditions for Friday and heading into the weekend, becoming mostly sunny on Friday and that sunshine is going to stick around for the rest of the day and for your day on Saturday as that high pressure builds into place. So really nice conditions looking ahead to the weekend. Very few clouds for your day on Saturday. Nice to be outside and you will still have that lower humidity and warm temperatures with highs in the 80s. So as we look at our high temperature today, 92 degrees, hot and humid, mainly sunny tonight, 69 mostly clear and yes, it's still going to be humid at nighttime tomorrow. 88 with those scattered storms. Wind gusts potentially at about 20 miles per hour, just not associated with the storm. Um, but then again, with that scattered activity, we may see a couple of stronger ones with some damaging wind gusts possible. Overall, though, look at Friday, Saturday and Sunday, those high temperatures back into the 80s and also lower humidity. Really not bad. It, you know, we start June with mm -hmm. the 90s, but then, you know, right. get a little bit of relief, especially in time for Riverbend. That can be extremely hot. Uh, yes, and so that's going to be great for Riverbend, for all the festivals. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have summer ball games for mm -hmm. the kids outside mm -hmm. all day long, that'll be good for the weekend, too. All right, Allison, thank you.